One stab there. Fireball right here for the win. Boom! What? Good game! Hey guys, welcome back to another Clash Royale video. Today we're taking a look at three different Electro Wizard decks. The first one you can see right here, Hog Rider Cycle, with the Electro Wizard and the Musketeer in there. Gonna go ahead and do a live battle with that one, and then we'll take a look at the next one afterwards. But facing off against Go, who is a level 10. Now, lots of the level 10s that I do face manage to have higher level cards. But in case you noticed earlier on, I managed to finally upgrade my Hog Rider to level uh, 9. So it's been a long time coming. Definitely been really waiting for that. What does he have? Well... Zap that, that'll kill this. Hopefully the Ice Golem dies. It won't die, but the Hogwarts will still do some work there. And then we'll do an Electro Wizard Zap to kill all these minions right there. The Electro Wizard does manage to do decent damage on a counter push. So, let's see here. Uh, we'll do Ice Golem here with a Musketeer. I want to save my cannon in case he has a Royal Giant. We have to ice go ice spirit there, which is rather unfortunate. Uh, come on, fireball. There we go, fireball landing, boom. One shot that one. There we go. Now, are we gonna die here? No, we're gonna zap this. We will take some some damage, but the zap spell will do work right there. Hair is covering my face, guys. Anybody with long hair watching this video, give me some tips on how to keep the hair out your face, and don't give me the tip as in cut your hair. <laughs> But let's do this and this right here. Keep the pressure up whenever he pumps up. Not going to do an Ice Spirit drop. Ooh, maybe the Ice Spirit would have been better. But we'll do this. The Ice Golem will die. One Hog Rider hit. And as you can see, that is a difference between... Uh, we're going to soak up some minion hits right there, I think. I want to save my Elixir there. That is a difference between a level 9 Hog Rider and level 8 Hog Rider. Level 9 gets a hit off. Level 8 would have died. Um, so we'll Musketeer right here. Fireball the weaker tower. Right there. And we'll see what he does next. I want to kind of do a, a cannon drop, but he's got the elite barbarians probably going to go down in front. So we'll do cannon, ice spirit right here. Zap these. Ice golem right here. To soak up all of that jazz. Then we'll just soak up a million elite barbarian hits. Electro wizard right here to kill this musketeer. And we're going to play kind of safe from here on out. We'll fireball. Actually, we won't fireball that. Just do a cannon drop here. I know he's got the three musketeers. He wants to split them. He also has the tombstone in his hand. So uh, we can't do anything about that yet. So we'll musketeer right here. Then we'll fireball this. Kill that one plus the tombstone there. Zap this as well. Boom. And I want to do Ice Golem, Ice Spirit here. Another cannon drop with an Electro Wizard to stun. Come on. There we go. Kill that. There we go, guys. Killing that. And, just fireball this once again, right here. Boom. Do a regular musky this side. Do an ice golem here, ice spirit. Cannon drop. Electro wizard for the stunnage. Boom. And they will stun both of the leap barbarians there, as you can see. He's keeping the pressure up here. So we'll kill that. We'll do a naked hog rider right here by itself with a fireball for the tombstone. Boom. Zap. Boom. The Hog Rider would have got a head off anyways, but we finished him off. Good game to hear him. That's the deck number one. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next Electro Wizard deck. Alright, so here we are with deck number two. It is giant support. Now, a couple things I do want to say about this deck. The Skarmy is in there for Elite Barbarian Distraction, but if you happen to have your Mini P.E.K.K.A. up to a decent level, uh, where is it? Mine's level 7, as you can see, and I don't really want to spend the 8,000 gold to upgrade it. You can use the Mini P.E.K.K.A. now instead of the Skarmy, because the Mini P.E.K.K.A. can counter the Elite Barbarians after the nerf, and it also serves dual purpose to take out Royal Giants and stuff like that, but at this trophy range, facing off against uh, level 12 Royal Giants and stuff, a level 7 Mini P.E.K.K.A. just doesn't suffice. So there's a deck. Let's go ahead and do a live battle with that one, and then afterwards we'll finish off with the third and final deck, but uh, let's see here. The Electro Wizard, despite being a wizard like the Ice Wizard and the Fire Wizard, it has a really fast movement speed, so you have to keep that in mind. Uh, whereas the Wizard and the Ice Wizard, you can start doing slow push by the King Tower. This one walks pretty fast, so Electro Wizard right here. 
Uh, the level 12 Royal Giant. But the Skeleton Army, there you can see, like, look at that. No damage done whatsoever by the uh, Royal Giant because this Garment just destroys it, which is part of the reason why I have it in this deck. But uh, the level 12 uh, Barbarians will destroy my Giant, unfortunately. They are pretty powerful. My Giant is only level 8, so it does go down fairly quickly. But we'll take that out. The Electro Wizard by itself, as you can see on the left-hand side there, doing work to that tower. Uh, we will just chill out here for a second. I want to kind of fireball this. Now, he knows that I have the Skarmie this time, so if he does another Royal Giant drop, I don't think we can count on the Skarmie to take it out. So, we'll start a Musketeer push right here. We'll have the Electro Wizard ready. Uh, ooh, he's got the Witch there. Witch, very interesting. So we'll take that out. I kind of want to do a giant in front of this. Uh, that we'll do Electro Wizard here. Ice Spirit here. Freeze that. Prevent as many damage as we can with that uh, Electro Wizard. Just does work against the Royal Giant, stunning it for so long. So please kill the Witch there. Please target the Witch, thank you. We're going to go ahead and let the Princess log onto our tower before we use our Musketeers. Because that... Or the, the Minions, not the Musketeers. Because that'll take her out versus dying. So, go ahead and do a Musketeer here. Our opponent definitely has the level advantage here. Because the 12 Barbarians, the 12 Royal Giant, and that 9 Valkyrie is going to be pretty tanky. So let's go ahead and do Giant up front right here. Uh, we can't hit all of that. So we'll do Electro Wizard right here. There's no way we're getting through that with this. So we'll do this here. Skarmie here. We'll zap this. Boom. Kill that... Uh, we're all giant pretty quickly actually surprisingly we'll have the fireball ready for the barbarians That are not apparently going down. We'll fireball this. Where's your barbarians? Please use them. Please use them. No, you didn't use your barbarians I wanted you to use them, but we'll kill that Valkyrie Royal GG getting in there not the Royal G the regular GG get in there finishing off that tower with the support of the Electro Wizard So we'll go ahead and do minions here Taking out the princess ice spirit scar me. Does he not have a zap in his deck? I'm surprised he hasn't killed my Skarmie with his spell yet. But nonetheless, good game to my opponent Zulu here. Um, how's my recording doing? Good, good, good. Giant Electro Wizard right there. So there's deck number two, guys. Good game to him. Like I said before, you can switch out the Skarmie for a mini P.E.K.K.A. if you have it up to a decent level. But let's go ahead and take a look at that final deck. Alright, so here we are, guys. Deck number three is a minor control deck. The Electro Wizard is so strong on defense, which makes it fit pretty well in a minor control deck. So there we are. Go ahead and do our lab battle here, facing off against Rain. Make it rain. So, not really the greatest dirty hand. The Electro Wizard is a fast moving card. So, you can't really do a slow push by your King Tower with it. So, hopefully, he doesn't mean we can fireball. So, we're going to fireball this tower as well as the furnace. Just to cycle some cards. He probably has a Royal Giant, seeing as how he's using. Uh, we're not going to use the Electro Wizard there. Because uh, it will die to the minions. I wouldn't suggest using it in the middle of a minion horde. Um, I would only suggest using the zap effect from a Electro Wizard for stuff that'll die to a zap spell, like Skeleton Army. Or, like this, boom, uh, the Goblin Barrel. Now, his obvious Goblin Barrel at Tournament Standard won't die anymore. Um, but, ladder gameplay has pretty much been unaffected by that nerf. So, Miner there will zap the Skarmie here. If they can get that Electro Wizard on the tower for a bit. It'll do some decent damage. We did activate the King Tower, though, with that Tornado spell, so kudos to him. Well played, sir. So, Tornado spell is low-key, actually uh, very powerful, guys, so if you have the patience, I would suggest getting a ton of practice with it. It's probably a high-skill card. Lots of, lots of practice needed to get really good with it, but I would highly encourage it because it is a very powerful card. So, we'll cannon here to kill this princess. Pesky little princess, boom. And I kind of want to do an Electro Wizard Minor push. We'll do Ice Bit right here. Come on, kill that Skarmie. No! Die! There we go. So he's using your classic Zap Bait deck um, with the Mirror in there. In fact, that's my go-to deck right now for Grand Challenges. I went undefeated this morning. If you guys follow me on Twitter, you already know. I went undefeated 12-0 uh, and 0 in a Grand Challenge this morning with a Zap Bait deck. Uh, just trying to get... Get it all in before the Executioner comes out and destroys it. But we'll do that. Kill that. Uh, we're going to Fireball this Princess as well as the Furnace. 
Then I want to get in there with my miner again. We're going to Electro Wizard right here. Boom. No, there is a trick to killing the Goblin Barrel with the Electro Wizard. I'm not really sure what it is, but uh, I know there is a trick to doing that. So, go ahead and do this, this, and this. We'll zap the Skarmy if it comes out. Where's your Skarmy? Then we'll zap this. Boom. Get some minor damage there with some minion damage as well. Split up some archers. Gonna fob all this one right here. And Electro Wizard the next one right there. There we go. He's having a good time. And kill that furnace, please. Archer. There we go. Ice Spirit here. Does he scar me? Where does the scar me go? He's gonna tornado that. Which I'm kind of okay with because it still does damage. So. Uh, let's see here. We'll do this. Gonna zap this one right here. Boom. Then we are gonna save our Electro Wizard for the next one coming out. Electro Wizard right here. Miner here. He cannot uh, mirror that, so keep that in mind. Zap this right here. Boom. Couple more hits off with that Miner. Electro Wizard right here. Thank you. There we go. Ice Spirit here. Miner here. Come on. One stab there. Fireball right here for the win. Boom. What? Good game. What? <laughs> Cry face. Did you guys see that? We're going to zap this though. Boom. No. Okay. Cannon here. That was ridiculous. If we got to draw, guys, that'll be just crazy. Come on, fireball, please. Fireball. Two. One. Boom. Good game. Look at that. Oh, I can't believe that just happened. But we've got the win nonetheless. 29 trophies. Wow. Anyways, guys, that's the three decks that I've made for you with the Electro Wizard. Let me know what you think about them in the comment section down below. I built two decks with the Electro Wizard as the only legendary, and the third deck has the Miner as well, in case you guys have that. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more Clash Royale content. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We will see you in the next one.